Google has been hiding a secret. Actually, three secrets. Now, secrets that might either cost you or even your business an arm and a leg, or at very least gives you a huge headache trying to solve as you unwrap it later on. Now, one of those secrets, of course, is that when Google say unlimited storage, well, they don't actually mean unlimited storage. Now, in fact, Google recently updated their pricing page where any mention of unlimited storage has been removed and replaced with an ambiguous message of the ability to request more. Now, this is a problem for me and many businesses, but also for many of my viewers who I see in the comments who personally need more than two terabytes worth of storage. Now, on my iPhone and as a family, we are already approaching the two terabyte limits, and that's without storing barely any documents and files on Apple's iCloud because I store that on Google Drive. But as a business, it is very easy to consume a lot of data. Like for example, when I ran my own IT business, just the marketing folder alone was, it was just gigantic. Like videos, high resolution images, graphics, Photoshop files that could easily be hundreds of megabytes each. So when Sync reached out and asked if I would check out their unlimited storage service, I was dubious to say the least. But before agreeing to make a sponsor video for them, I thought I'd take a look myself at what they have to offer. And it didn't take me long to realize this is actually a really interesting offering. Now they're calling it their Sync Pro Teams Plus Unlimited plan, which is ideal for businesses, yes. But in the same way that Google Workspace or G Suite was a great way for individuals like me to get access to unlimited storage, I'd say this also works great for individuals too. Now for $15 per user per month with a minimum of two users and no upper limits, you get truly unlimited storage. And that's not a unlimited until we change our minds type of unlimited storage, it's truly unlimited. But that is only half of the story here because Google is also hiding another little secret under the hood that you probably didn't know that you already know, you know? <laughs> now you see all of the files and folders, all of the images that we upload to Google, everything that goes into Google storage can be accessed by someone who is not you. Now I don't mean hackers or scammers, you know, who are always trying to trick you into sharing access to your data. But the fact is, one of the problems with, well, most of the big platforms, not just Google, is that they still retain access to your data. So in the event that some law agency asks to see your data, as long as they have good reason to, as long as they've got the permits, they can grant them access to see your data, which is, of course, all fine and good when you have nothing to hide. But the fact that someone has the ability, has the the power to grant access to your data just seems to me that it's not something that anybody would want with their data. Now, Apple has recently added the ability to encrypt your data so that only you have access. Now they call it advanced data protection. Google do allow you to do this too, but not for your personal data for some weird reason. That feature is only available to enterprise customers. Well, Sync actually solves this problem by default. There's no like extra things you have to sign up to. And without reeling off a list of all the various security regulations and compliance standards and all those things. In a nutshell, Sync is encrypted to a level that only you and those you have granted access to can see your data nobody else. So that's secret number two. Secret number three, well, Google is one of the biggest and of course, most popular cloud storage providers in the entire world. Like it stores data in a vast number of locations across the world. So your data stored in each of Google's data center locations can survive, even if an act of God level event completely decimated an area which held your data. But it doesn't back up your data. And what I mean by that is that if you ever deleted a file, either by accident or on purpose, and then realize that you want to get it back again, say 30, 90 days, even 100 plus days later with Google, you can't do it. You can't retrieve it. Now, Sync once again fixes this problem by default by including a minimum of 180 days on all of their plans as standard and 365 days on their Teams Plus unlimited plan. Now, that is literally a year where you can delete something, forget about it and come back to it 365 days later to restore it from backup, like something you just can't do from Google Drive. Now, that all sounds pretty impressive. So what's the catch? Well, you still get a system that lets you upload, access and share files between other people. You can still set permissions so people can only access the data that they need to. You can still integrate it with cross-platform apps like Microsoft Office. And it can easily scale to hundreds or even thousands of users with the new sync role-based access control features. Also automatic CSV user provisioning and just a whole bunch of other great like enterprise grade features. So the only downsides I have found, well, if I was being really picky, I could say that the interface isn't as nice as others, but again, that's a very subjective question. And also honestly, day to day, you don't actually see the interface since it just shows up as you know any other folder on your desktop. 
and you can just right click to download files locally or remove them so they're only stored in the cloud. In terms of two-factor authentication, now they currently support either email-based or via an authenticator app. And honestly, the authenticator app I think is reasonable, but I personally like to see support for physical hardware tokens like these YubiKeys. And I'm a huge fan of using these for just an added layer of security. And thirdly, well, you need to head to sync.com slash Pete to get an exclusive discount that they've set up for those watching this video. Now, I've no idea what that is. Hopefully it's really, really great. And uh, I hope you can enjoy that. But uh, other than that, if you need a cloud storage service that provides truly unlimited storage, it's perfect for businesses of all sizes. Uh, what looks like the lowest price that I've ever seen for unlimited storage, whose privacy and encryption actually means nobody else can see your files and that actually bothers to back up your data amongst all the other things that you come to expect from or any reputable cloud storage service, then check out Sync and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, bye-bye.